Let's go, let's go. Fire it up, it is goal time. Welcome to the classroom. Oh, three smartest kids I've ever seen. And teachers, how we doing? Oh my gosh. What's going on out there, you guys? How are we, good? Thumbs up. And how are you at home? Welcome inside, everybody. Do I have a treat for you? Today, it's the students and teachers from St. Joseph Academy in Atlantic County. Hey, you just entered the classroom, and I'm going to let these students say that they're smarter than their teachers, but they have 29 minutes to prove that that's true. If they can get that done, I'm going to give them a big fat check and let them brag as soon as they get back home. So buckle up. It's pop quiz time. Grab your buzzers. We have one minute on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. Woo-wee! I'm fired up. I hope you guys are as well. We got a big show ahead of us, everyone. Good luck, have fun, and here we go. Question one. A store sells apples for 50 cents each. How much will eight apples cost? First one in, Dylan. Four dollars. Four dollars is right. What is the official term for the U.S. government's count of the population? Dylan. The U.S. Census. Good. Extra credit. Let's double this up. Rihanna was born on what Caribbean island? Mr. Gonzalez. Jamaica. That was a good guess, but incorrect. Xavier. Barbados. Barbados is right. You jump up to 40 points. While performing laboratory experiments, what type of eyewear is worn to protect the eyes? Mr. G. Safety goggles. Good. The Night's Watch protects and defends the wall in what HBO TV show that ended in 2019, Mrs. Fox? Game of Thrones. That's Miss Fox. What Phillies player tore the ACL in his left knee during a 2023 spring training game against the Detroit Tigers? Xavier. Reese Hoskins. That's going to get you the points. What Cormac McCarthy novels depicts the journey of a father and his young son through the scorched ruins of a post-apocalyptic America? Buzzer staying silent. The road is what we were looking for, and that's the buzzer. Look at this, coming out of the gates. My ninth and 10th graders sitting on a 50 burger. Teachers, 20 points for you guys as well. I would have <laughs> lost my lunch. Mr. G, if you knew where Rihanna was born. I mean, you buzzed in and I'm like, this guy's got Barbados. I was close. It was Jamaica, there it was. So how about it? Students, you got the lead right now and it's teachers and students from St. Joseph Academy in Hamilton, New Jersey. Look at that beautiful school. Hey, let's meet some of our Wildcats here today. I'm Dylan, I am a 10th grade sophomore at St. Joseph Academy and I'm their mascot and the teachers are going down. So just let our game do the talking. I'm Bailey Smith, I'm a ninth grader at St. Joseph's Academy and I'm part of the WILD program and I do basketball and track. Hi, my name is Zavian, I am a freshman at St. Joseph's Academy and I play baseball and the teachers are going down. I don't know, my name is Mr. Gonzalez, I'm the math teacher at St. Joseph's Academy and my students know that all I do is win. Hi, I'm Miss Fox, I teach English and I coach softball and basketball and I'm ready to run circles around my students. Hi, I'm Mr. Sherlock. I'm the Dean of College and School Counseling, and all I know is the students had better bring their A game. All right. That's talking about. I just had told you six people that are just incredible human beings. Students, you guys are feeling good after that first round there? Yeah. yeah. All right, Dylan, you're the team captain today. It's got to feel pretty good to be in the lead right now. It sure does. You, uh, you volunteered for this, right? I did. What, why did you want to come on the show? See how much I can really... Give the teachers a good whooping. <laughs> oh, let's go. Hey, you're off to a good start, but what do you say? You put them in detention next? I think so. Let's play. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you pass, the other team has to answer the question and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. All right, that's how you play. 40 points up for grabs. Teachers, you win this round. You guys are 10 point leaders here after the second round of play. So this is anybody's game as we move into question one, but the category goes to the teachers. All right, so it's yours to pass or play on. And here it is. 
Geography. <laughs> Player pass. Mm -hmm. We're gonna pass. We're gonna pass. Here we go. Over to you guys with this question. Acadia National Park is located in what U.S. state? You can talk about it. Maine. What a pass steal, there it is. Who's been to Acadia National Park over here? Thanks, Bailey's mom and dad, that's great news. All right, not only did you get to go on a great vacation, now you get to send one of these teachers to detention. Who's it gonna be? Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Gonzalez, out of it. Team captain, head that way. We gotta keep you away from these students. Can't let your trash talk too close. All right, Mr. G heads to detention. My goodness. Okay. Is there a little tense action going on here right now? I love bit. this school. A little bit. This is the best. Oh. Here we go. We move the category back to you guys. Still in control. Pass or play on human body. Do you know it? Do they not know Pass. it? Pass. All right. They don't know it. Okay. They're saying no. Here you go. The cervical section of a typical human spine contains how many vertebrae? Seven? Seven is right. What an answer. Bam. <laughs> How about Mr. Sherlock? He gave, that was maybe at seven, but maybe that was confidence. Seven. You hit it exactly right where it needed to go. Dylan, Bailey, or Xavier joining Mr. G. Dylan. Yeah, Dylan. Yeah, what the heck? If you said any, I said, you got to send the hottest guy right now. He goes over. He's out of the game. Okay. Leaving, leaving Bailey and Xavier to yourselves. Now hold on tight because the category is not yours. We move back to our teachers where your category is math. As the math teacher sits in detention. All right, we'll do it. All right, here you go. What is the term for any number or expression placed inside the radical symbol when trying to find the root? Ooh, this is a tough one. Mr. G is trying to put it in their head right now. Exponent. We were looking for radicand. Did I say that properly, Mr. G? All right, there it was. How about it, you guys? Sending the math teacher early pays off. And now is it my English teacher or counselor going next? Mr. Sherlock. Mr. Sherlock, out of the game. Okay. You know this game, if you watch it enough, you know we have some pop culture stuff coming in. You wonder why we leave the young teacher here, but we go back to students with this category. Turn the cards, speak of the devil. Celebrities. Play. Play, here you go. This would be for the win now, if you get this correct. In January of 2020, Beyonce released a fashion collection which is a collaboration between her line, Ivy Park, and what athletic clothing company? Need an answer. Nike. Incorrect. The answer was Adidas. And there it is. Okay. Now you guys have to go here. One of you is gone. Who is it? Bailey. Bailey, out of the game. Xavian. Chilling, relaxing, holding on for dear life. The category, back to you. Are you feeling good? Yep. All right, here it is. Fun and games. Okay. That, play? Play. All right, here you go. In June of 2019, eight children made history when they were named co-champions in what prestigious national school-related event? The spelling bee? The spelling bee is Ooh, right as she holds guess. on. Teachers, get out of detention and come and celebrate. Come on over here, teachers. Xavier, you gotta go, my friend. He joins the students. And just like they wrote in the history books, teachers, backs against the wall. They came wow. out swinging. Wow. And now you got a 10-point lead. When we come back, art class is next. We got a barn burner, folks. Don't go anywhere. Classroom returns after this. You guys are coming to hang out. Detention's where it is. Yeah, hey, nice track.
I'm clapping for everyone that's playing right now because this is a fantastic game. Teachers just fight back after a three to one. We thought the round was over, but not so fast. All right, so now they are grabbing the lead by 10 and we go to art class right now. Let's play. Here's how to play the game. Each team selected one player to draw. The first artist will select a card with a word or phrase hidden on the inside. Hmm? They will have five seconds to draw, then their teammates will have 10 seconds to talk and make one guess. A correct answer is worth 30 points, and if the team guesses incorrectly, I'll give them a couple more chances, but the points hmm? decrease. Okay, we're gonna start with the trailing team. Students down by 10 after that last round. That was exciting, but now the decision is, what color do you pick? Blue. You take the blue card, you stand back here, you open that up. Take a look at the word you're gonna be drawing, okay? You're gonna have five seconds to do it, and I'd say do it fast, but you already knew that. So grab your pen, get ready, time starts now. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Talk it out. What is it? Uh, oven. An oven? Is that your answer? You want to say oven or donut? Oh, uh, yeah. Donut. Donut. Incorrect. All right, you ready? Five more seconds. Really put some detail in here. Your time starts now. Okay. All right, stay right there. You guys ready? See if you can add on to this. See if you can figure this out. What is it? Uh, a pen. Pen and paper? Uh, yeah. Pen and paper. Pen and paper, incorrect. You have 10 seconds now, Bailey, to finish this up. What can you add? What can you do? Your time starts right now. All right, while she's doing that, you guys can think through what you've seen so far, the evolution of her thought as she's adding in. Add in whatever you want. Okay, she didn't add much in 10 seconds, but this could give you what you need. What is it? What are you thinking? I have to go with pen, guys. Okay. Pin. I guess we're going with pen. Incorrect. Bailey, tell them what it is. Dental floss. Dental floss. <laughs> I was looking maybe draw a tooth next time. Like, is that what this guy is right here? Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> maybe a mouth. Yeah, that was good. All right, hey, we're going to switch you and Mr. G up. No worries, no points there, but you're only trailing by 10. You and Mr. G are gonna switch. Bella, you go over there. I give this to Mr. G to make a giant step forward here. That's what you're gonna draw. Take a look. I think he's gonna like it. I think you're gonna like it. Let's see how you do. Ready? Okay. Time starts now. Go. Okay, stop right there. Ready? We'll work this out. What is it? Hair. Long hair, <laughs> long hair, a face, a girl, a woman. <laughs> what could that be? Need an answer. Medusa. <laughs> it's a woman. Is it a woman? Okay, we're gonna switch this back around. Mr. G, good luck. Five more seconds. Starts right now. Okay. That's good. Ooh. Oh, this is good. Okay, stop right there. You guys ready? Bam! What is it? Is that a, is that a train? What is that? <laughs> a dress? Who is that? A model. A model? Okay, a model? incorrect. You have 10 seconds. I like that he's racking his brain to try to figure this out right now. 10 seconds. Time starts now. Good luck, Mr. G. <laughs> this, this is tough. This is tough. You're doing a good job, though. I think at the end of this, we're going to give you a raise. Okay. Okay. Between you and her in 10 seconds, you guys don't you use the time that well. What is it? A star? Is it, is it like a movie pop star? star? Pop star? Movie star? The answer? Movie star? Pop Incorrect. Star? Oh man, you guys. Both sides blanking the round. Mr. G, tell them what it is. Barbie. That's a Barbie doll. <laughs> that was close. Why did you, you put her. Put her in a box. Yeah, uh, listen, it's oh, easier yeah, said than done. Gosh, hey, right. before the break, I got to get you guys some points, so I'm giving out some extra credit. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, man, I love it. All right, one extra credit question. Here you go, one minute. This is all you're going to have to answer this question. It's a tough one, but I want to get some points up, so let's do it. What team won their first ever NBA championship in 2019? That's the question. You. 
go away, go take a commercial break. We're going to compose ourselves, maybe take some more art classes. When we come back, the game continues. It's a 10 point game. Anybody can win this thing. Stay right. Welcome back inside, everybody. Thanks for joining the classroom. Today, it's the students and teachers from St. Joseph Academy in Atlantic County. Teachers, hold the 10-point lead. Man, this is a great game today. I asked an extra credit question before the break after a tough art class here, and this is what we said. What team won their first ever NBA championship in 2019? We're going to start with you, Dylon. What'd you say, pal? The Cleveland Cavaliers. Not going to get it done. We move over to our teachers who are big basketball people. How do we know? They're all six foot. Let's see. What do you guys say? Milwaukee Bucks. Apparently not that big in the basketball. The answer? Toronto Raptors, everybody, is what we were looking for. All right. How about it? Teachers, if you guys win this thing, you walk away with the money, where's that going to go? Uh, it's going to go towards our advanced semester that we hold uh, at our high school. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great place to put it. Good luck to you guys. How about you, Dylan? What are you guys going to do with it? Make our field day 10 times better. Yeah, 500 bucks will do that for you. You know what else is great? A field trip. So let's go. Grab your buzzers. We will ask you three questions from a special location. The first person to buzz in and get the correct answer to each question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in and get it incorrect, a member of the other team will have a chance to buzz in and steal. All right, all right, all right. Good luck, everybody. Taking a field trip to Dorney Park in Wildwater Kingdom. Jen Fred from Fox 39's Good Philadelphia is going to be asking the questions today. So, Jen, what's question one? a field trip and no better place than this spot right here, Dorney Park. Okay, Dorney Park has rides for the smallest of kids as well as those who crave speed, heights, and even some water. Dorney's roller coaster Hydra is named after the nine-headed monster of Greek mythology who was defeated by what hero as one of his 12 labors? Pleasure stay silent. We were looking for Hercules, was the answer there. All right, Jen, no buzzers on that one, but question two's got us. What is it? All right, did you know this? Three of the Wildwater Kingdom rides are named after snakes. One of those rides shares its name with the answer to question two. Here it is. Which non-venomous constricting snake is considered by most scientists to be the longest in the world? Oh, Xavier. Anaconda. Incorrect. Teachers for the steal. Nothing if you don't know. No buzzes. We're looking for a python. Python there. And we move to question three. Students, you're going to want to get this one. You tie the game before we go into that final exam. Jen, huge question. Let's take it away. The Apollo ride here at Dorney Park shares its name with a NASA space program. That leads me to your third question. Which 1970 Apollo mission suffered an explosion on board that forced the crew to circle the moon without landing? First one in, Mr. Sherlock. Apollo 13. Apollo 13 is right, gets you up to 70 points and the 20 point lead as we shut it down and head in to our final exam. Let's do it. Okay, you guys, here it is. Top of today's final exam. It's countries. Three questions, 100 points each, 60 seconds on the clock. You'll work together during the commercial break. Question one starts with this. What country is the second largest country in South America and bordered by the Andes Mountains and Chile to the west? Question two. What is the first and last name of the New Jersey native TikToker? known for her get ready with me videos, who was stranded in Italy during a girl's trip in May of 2023. Finally, name two of the four countries that make up the United Kingdom. Looking for two answers there, folks. All right, 60 seconds on the clock. Let's put it up there. These guys, they got a big hill to climb, but who doesn't? 
10 points, 20 points separates these two teams. One's coming out on top. 300 points up the grabs. Do not miss the ending of this show. You stay right there. Flashes, the turn, next. Room. Students, you are trailing, but we got 300 points up for grabs. We jump right in with question number one. What country is the second largest country in South America and bordered by the Andes Mountains and Chile to the west? We start with my students over here. Xavier, what did you say? We, we did not know an answer for that one. Oh no, a question mark leaves the door open for Mr. Sherlock and the teachers who said... Argentina. And a commanding lead. Here we go with question two. What is the first and last name of the New Jersey native TikToker, known for her Get Ready With Me videos, who was stranded in Italy during a curls trip in May of 2023? Students, get this right or the game is over. Alex Earl. The game is not over, moves to 150. How about it, teachers? Do you get this right and seal the deal? You said. Alex Earl, Woo! teachers win the game, get up to 270. Come on out, y'all. Take two of the four countries that make up the United Kingdom. England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland are the ones there. Hey, both teams got that one right as well. How about it? You guys played a great game. Thanks for being here with us. We'll see you next time right here on The Classroom.